In 2016, Cascadia with a 18 speed Eaton Auto Shift MXP as a air leak. First, notice it only happened on highway speeds, but you never see that it actually happens uh, anytime I'm in high range. The secondary pressure drops constantly, causing the air compressor to cycle about every four minutes. And we go back to low range. And it's stable. To uh, confirm the leak with an alter shift, uh, it's impossible to get it into high range when you're parked. But after checking the uh, service manual, I found that you can put it in reverse in high range. So you turn the key on, don't start the engine, put it into reverse, and second reverse, and now third rate reverse, which actually goes to high range. Underneath the transmission, at the same time, here, going in the first and second, and when it goes in the third, you'll start to hear the air. Okay. And there's the air. Then I came around under the transmission to confirm the location of the leak, which is coming out of the bottom of the range cylinder cover. There is a gasket there. To get at the gasket, you can see uh, one of the bolts there, with just four of them. They're only a 9 sixteenths uh, socket. I had to remove the, both airlines to just give me some room to get it out of there. Plus, the uh, ultra shift has a solenoid on the top that does the range shifting, so you have to disconnect the wire. So here's a basic breakdown. Just take out the bolts 14, 16, and get a new gasket. Cost three dollars and fifty cents. Here's my cover, and the black line is that was the bottom. That's where the air was coming out, and a new gasket. You have to use uh, some uh, Loctite on the bolts also. So now with the they're back in the high range and the air pressure stable, now we go for a spin. And it'll settle in at 740 kilopascals. Whereas before it would have just kept dropping. <laughs> 